Well, I was having hip pain, so I went in for an MRI and I was seeing a hip surgeon who ordered an arthrogram along with it. So I wasn't really sure what that entailed. An arthrogram, we can do it on multiple different joints. The most common we do are shoulder and hips, but we do them also on elbows, wrists, knees, and ankles. Yeah. Arthrogram, comma, left shoulder, period. It is probably the best test that we have in medicine to look at those joints, except for going in there surgically and taking a look. Hi, Hi. how are you today? Good, how are you? When you arrive for an arthrogram, the first thing that I do is I'll meet you in the waiting room and I'll go over the consent form with you. I'll tell you what we're doing, why we're doing it. We've done a lot of these and everyone's done really good. And then we take the patient into our fluoroscopy room, which is a portable x-ray. Uh, we focus just on the joint of interest. I will mark the skin with a little magic marker. That's the side I'm going to be working. I clean the skin off with some uh, betadine soap. All right, we're going to numb you up, okay? Numb the patient up. That's the most important thing in the entire procedure is to get appropriate anesthesia. Okay. Once I have them numbed up, I have a very thin needle that goes down to the joint and I inject the contrast into the joint and I distend the joint kind of like a balloon. You fill it up from the inside. Patients usually tolerate that well. Sometimes patients feel a little fullness or tightness in their joint, but it's not pain. It just feels unusual, different. All right, we're all done. That went perfect. And then once we're done, the needle comes out, skin gets clean, Band-Aid on. Your job is just to hold still and not move anything, okay? And then they go get their imaging done. We like to do the imaging right after the procedure. We don't want to wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes, because the fluid will start to resort. The body takes care of that fluid, gets rid of it, and we need that uh, contrast in there, so we scan them immediately. The hard thing about all of imaging is we don't image pain. So patients come in with a symptom, they come in with pain, we do an x-ray, we do an MRI, and they say, where's my pain coming from? That's very difficult because the pain doesn't light up on the, on the image. You have to find a structure that relates to the patient's pain. So I ended up having a total hip replacement, and that was about three months ago, and I'm doing great. I'm walking without pain, and it's just been amazing it's often easier than starting an IV. It's very easy. And my goal is that when we're done, the patient will say, yeah, that was better than I thought it was gonna be. And then to me, that's a, that's a victory. If I can exceed the expectations that the patient had, that's what we wanna do. Ultimately, I was happy I knew about CDI because you're not gonna get answers without imaging, and the imaging leads to the problem, which leads then to a solution.